These are pictures of Paul Frankum, the 51-year-old Phoenix dad who was shot and killed in front of his apartment complex while walking home from a 4th of July festival last Thursday night. There's no sort of answers, there's no sort of accountability. accountability. Today we sat down with Franco's son and daughter who are still trying to make sense of what happened. It just it hurts a lot that that would even happen to my dad, you know, because someone like him never deserved that. Serena and Paul Franco Jr. tell us their dad and his girlfriend had just gone to the fabulous Phoenix 4th event at Steel Indian School Park and were headed home when the girlfriend got into some type of heated argument with pro-Palestinian demonstrators near Camelback and Central Avenue. The verbal argument turned violent. Moments later, Franco was shot multiple times and was pronounced dead at the scene. He was such a kind and caring person, you know, and he always put other people first. He was, he was never quick to violence, you know. He was, like I said, he, he loved, he loved everybody. And According to Phoenix Police, a woman they believed was involved in the shooting was taken in for questioning, then released without any charges being filed. The woman reportedly told investigators the shooting was in self-defense. The Francos insist there's no way their father would have threatened to hurt anyone. My dad would never, ever cause harm on someone like that. And for how traumatic it was, I can't imagine his thoughts, you know, and how he felt in that moment because we weren't there to hold him and I wasn't there to talk to him. Arizona's family reached out to Phoenix PD and was told they are sifting through surveillance video and witness statements and the investigation is still ongoing. The victim's children know nothing will bring their dad back, but they believe someone needs to be held responsible for their father's death. You know, there's still no um, information as to what led up to it, um, you know, what, what caused it to escalate. And like I said, my dad wasn't, wasn't prone to violence at all. You know, he was, that was always a last resort of anything. I hope that anybody out there that has information can come forward of any sort. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's the most minuscule or the most minimal amount of information, anything helps, you know. He was just trying to go, go watch fireworks.